scene 9.8. Seven six five four three two one. Hey y'all, artist poet girl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're going to make some silicone molds. Now, you want a bucket with water, and you need cold water. I mean, almost to the point of making your hands hurt. Cold water, okay? You want the green or the blue Dawn dishwashing liquid. Now. Don't do what I do and touch the silicone without soapy wet hands because it will stick to you. And remember, silicone sticks to silicone. You want to have all your items that you want to uh, make into a mold, you want them ready. Okay? So don't put your stuff in here and then get your stuff ready. Get your stuff that you want to make a mold of ready and then do the rest of this. So anyway, my water wasn't, uh, didn't come out of the tap cold. I used cold water, but it didn't come out too cold. So I put ice cubes in there and let them melt. See, pretty cold. And there was something hard in there. And as you can see, I didn't wet my fingers first. So the silicone stuck to my fingers, okay? It will not stick to your wet, soapy, soapy wet hands if you get them soapy wet all over. You will see me wipe it away some more later because... I didn't have enough soapy water on there. Now, uh, we did this in one of our uh, Creative Circle Wednesday things here that we do locally. And uh, you can really only use this bucket of water twice at most. A third time doesn't work. We found that out in our Wednesday thing, okay? So just saying. Twice, okay. Three times, no. So anyway, you got your silicone in there, and I really didn't get my hands really wet enough. Um, you want soapy, wet, cold water. And you kind of smoosh around your 100% silicone. Just kind of knead it a little bit. I sort of overdo it. See how it's not sticking to me? Well, you're going to see something sticking in it. See, it's stuck there because that part of my hand wasn't quite soapy wet enough. Okay? Just saying. So, I have a um, leftover packaging package. <laughs> Something came in. I don't remember what came in it. And I put a piece of um, wax paper in there so that I can lift it out. I didn't know if it would stick or not stick or whatever. So, you know, so yeah. And... Uh, I think this mold ended up being um, half an inch to three quarters of an inch thick. You don't want to go too thin, otherwise you'll distort your clay that you're going to use. It. You can use paper clay, polymer clay, and I'm pretty sure air dry clay. You just want to make sure once your mold is finished and cured up and all that, that you dust it with... Um, cornstarch also known as uh, corn flour I think is what they call it in Europe so anyway the items you're going to mold you want to make sure they're cold soapy wet too metal pieces can sometimes uh, discolor the silicone I've not had any adverse effects from that uh, but just be fair warned that the metal pieces will sometimes discolor both the silicone and or the metal piece itself. So I got keys, buttons, paper clips, um, some kind of embellishment uh, keyhole, metal keyhole pieces. I've got some beads and I don't know, little dragonfly. This is some... Um, what we use on our windows here in the U.S. of A, which is a, uh, it's a plastic screen of sorts that we use on these forms for our windows to keep the bugs out. And I'm sure y'all got those in other places too. And I also have some bubble wrap there because I'm trying to make texture in the whole thing, which it did. Now I'm going to make some more molds and these are some uh, porcelain doll heads I picked up way cheap at a uh, charity shop here. Well, not here in my town. It was when we were traveling, I don't know, Arizona, New Mexico, somewhere a couple of years ago. 
and I wetted them, you know, with the soapy wet water, cold soapy, cold water, y'all, and, uh, yeah, this is cheaper than the, uh, mold, purchase mold stuff that you get at the, uh, art supply, you want to make your shape similar in size to the item you're molding now when you go to press it in it will uh, smoosh out some you don't want to go too shallow and uh, this is I'm going to show you uh, clean your step up because silicone is stuck inside this don't use the bucket for anything else and I'm going to show you how sticky it still is it will take about an hour or so to uh, basically set up and you can take your items out. See, this one's just not sticking at all. Ta-da! So these are ready to come out. Setting that sticky one aside and I'm going to start plucking these things out. And um, I like this. Uh, towards the end, I think I show you a basic how to, how to uh, you know, cast your mold. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So we're making the silicone mold. This will make uh, that size. Um, yeah, you can put your clay in there and pull it out, and then you can cut off, and you can have different strips or one solid strip or whatever. I will be using this in a uh, tin can shrine of sorts. I had to make a, uh, I don't know, I'm not showing you all that. But anyway, I made a paper template that I cut my clay out. Da, 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 da. Don't talk about things you're not showing, APJ. Must be time for a musical, musical interlude. Um, you want to make sure because it, it's silicone. Silicone will stick to silicone, and I have a silicone mat, and they would stick together because the mold that we are drying the water off of has not totally cured. It is set, but it's not totally cured. It takes about 24 to 48 hours for it to really set up and cure. Okay, and now this is kind of smelly stuff, so you do want to use this in a ventilated area. If you have sensitive skin, wear gloves. Okay, just saying, wear gloves. I'm trying to show you, it's kind of hard to see. But any hoot, I molded several things. This is uh, a weird kind of cameo thing I had bought from somewhere. And uh, I tried it with, um, I think, Sculpey, and it didn't come out very well. So I don't know if I will retry to make that mold because it was a pretty intense, jagged kind of um, thing. And uh, it will form somewhat of a su suction. If it doesn't come off fairly easily, leave it set for a while longer. Uh, but there will be a slight suction. I'm just drying the water out of that. And y'all saw earlier I was drying the metal pieces and all those other things. And uh, don't make your faces, if you cast faces, don't make them uh, the mold too thin because when you put your clay in there, you don't want uh, to smush it all up when you're pulling it out. So... Easy does it. Easy does it. And there she is. I'm just checking on her. I'm drying her off. You know, making sure she's clean. Because I have uh, friends who want to uh, use my faces for molds too. And I'm just showing some molds way too close up. I know for y'all to really see. But, uh, yeah. So now we're going to cast. Uh, we're going to cast this, and we're going to use the Sculpey, which is a, a oven baked clay. Be sure to read your manufacturer and use your rent, uh, manufacturer's recommendations for using their clay and baking their products. Blah 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 blah. I will use this face uh, in another video, oh, which you probably already see because it's already out anyway. And you want to be sure to use cornstarch slash corn flour. I'm not sure what you call it in other countries. And you want to dust your molds well, but they you don't want clogs, you know, clogs of uh, powder in there. 
So I really put too much in here, which is fine. I want to make sure I get it really coated. I end up coating the outside. I don't think I'll show you that part. But as you can see, it's pretty white. And you don't want, like I said, you don't want it too, too um, clogged up in there. You want to make a um, Hershey kiss type shape so that you put the pointy end down in there and that kind of goes into the nose portion so that you end up with a full nose and not just part of the nose. So, um, anyway. Just smashing it down. I'm not going to show you the exact, the whole project because I've already made the project and the project is already uploaded. I will put a link hopefully in the description box below and uh, perhaps an i card up in the upper right corner of your screen to see the actual project project that I made with this space in this here silicone mold. Uh, to get your clay out easier, refrigerate it, freeze it for uh, two to five minutes and it will be easier to pop out of your mold. I'm just easing around the edges there because this video was really just to um, show you um, sorry about that buzzing humming whatever sound yeah how to make the silicone mold have fun cold water people soapy cold soapy water yeah you'll use a lot of soap and that's it. So thanks for watching and happy art, y'all.